Hi guys and welcome to another Divi Team video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well, the other day we posted a little video about the Divi Supreme Modules Lite version. Now, if you've watched my channel before, you'll know that Divi Supreme is one of my absolute favorite plugins for the Divi theme itself. It offers so much. It's a premium plugin, but they do have a free version, which is called the Lite version. And to get that, you can go over to the Divi Supreme page. I'll put the link below the video, go down to features. And if you scroll down the page, at the bottom, you'll see the free download. Click on that, it'll take you to this page right here. Now Divi Supreme Modules Lite comes with 20 free Divi Custom Modules. And there's a list of them right here. I'm not going to read through it all, but there's some great little free modules here. And we'll be demonstrating these in an upcoming series as we've had so much interest in them. So have a look. And if you want to check it out, go ahead and download it. Just hit the little download button at the top here. As you can see, it's downloading to my browser window there. I'm using Google Chrome. If you're using something else, it'll just download to your default download location. OK, well, I've got a generic fresh installed of WordPress right here with the Divi theme installed. The only thing I've done is put a logo in there. So let's go to the dashboard and install Supreme Modules Lite. So we're down at dashboard. I'm going to go down to plugins. I'm going to hit the add new button. I'm going to hit the upload plugin button. And you can either hit the choose file button and browse to your download location. Or you can simply just drag the zip file when you're ready to where it says no file chosen there. And hit install now. Very quick to install. Let's go ahead and activate the plugin. And there it is. So let's see what it's got under the hood. I'm going to create a new page. I'm just going to go up to the top and hit page. Or you can go to pages and do the same thing. I'm going to use the Divi Builder, obviously. I'm going to go ahead and start building. There's a little tour if you've never done this before. I'm going to go ahead and build from scratch. Let's just put in a twin column row right there. And as you can see, our modules have popped up. These light gray ones here are all the ones that come as standard with the Divi theme itself. Plenty of them to build just about any type of site. And down below are the ones that we've got with our Supreme Light plugin. And there's a few more of the regular Divi ones down there. Also, if you happen to be using WooCommerce to sell products, Divi gives you another dozen or so modules to organize your products with. OK, and there's some great ones here. Let's start at the top and just have a look at one of these. This is a Supreme before after image. I'm sure you've seen these demonstrated on sites where you've got an image and you've got a little clickable, draggable icon there and you can show one image or another image. So let's add an image. I've not got any here, so I'll have to upload some. So I'm just going to grab a couple of pictures, drag them across. I'm left clicking, dragging, just release your left button to drop them there. As you can see, they've uploaded. Let's put this one in straight away. For anybody wondering, alt text over here, it's usually should be used for a description of the image. So that, for, for instance, should say hamburger or cheeseburger or something like that. A lot of people use the alt text for keywords and geolocation data for SEO purposes. Not sure how effective that is nowadays, but it's not a bad idea. Obviously, there's a title. You can add a caption and a description if you want to. So I'm happy with that. I'm going to go ahead and upload that one. And that's our before image. And again, you can put an alt text in there. And you can put a title text in here if you want to. OK, well, let's add the second image. And there it is right there. As you can see, we've got both images in there. Again, we've got some alt text. Not quite sure what those are. So I'm just going to put food in as a title. Don't have to put a title in there if you don't want to. 
you can have before label text and after label text at the moment there's our labels so before after and you can change what you've had in the before and the after picture right there settings you can change the offset at the moment it's halfway at 50% you can put it wherever you want just put a decimal in there for a quarter or a third quarter right there third but I'm happy with it to be or if you want it to be the whole way just put a one in there you've got the whole image and they can slide to reveal the other one you've got the option to go horizontal which is the default or vertical if you want it to go up and down I'm happy for mine to stay on horizontal you can add an overlay if you want to you can move the slide on hover move the slider with the handle which is the default and that's the handle right there and you can also set it just to move when they click on the handle rather than just hovering over it like any other Divi module you can add a link if you want to best practice is once you put your link in if you're linking to your own site leave it in the same window if you're linking off site open it in a new tab you can put a background and things in if you want to I've got really no need for that because our image is our background in this particular case design wise you can do your labels if you want to and you can color change the font size do everything that you can do with normal things so let's give it a purple background color Divi by standard comes with hundreds and hundreds of fonts there literally are hundreds of fonts just hover over one it'll show you what they are I'm going to stick to the default for this and of course you can change the text color itself the size letter spacing line height text shadow if you want it and you can do the same for the after if you've added an overlay this is where you choose the color and also you can change the handle slider itself you can change the handle border color border radius and background color if you want to and of course the arrow color itself common to most Divi modules you can size it if you want to at the moment it's taking up 100% of the available space in our column there if you want to make it smaller just drag it down to the size that you want it and then you can align it if you want to left middle or right within the column that it's sitting in I'm happy for mine to take up 100%. Spacing wise, really don't need that today unless you've got a background color or an image or something. Margin obviously will push it down, up, left or right. Padding will give it space, top, bottom, left and right. You can add borders, box shadows, all the usual things that you can do with the Divi theme. So let's save this and see what it's going to look like on the front end. Save draw or publish if you're ready. And let's exit the Visual Builder. And there it is and there's our little handle I can drag it to reveal the other image and when I hover over there's our little label text right there and the same with this one there we go so that's a very quick overview of how to install the Divi Supreme Light plugin and one of the little modules right there I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. We were doing more with Divi Lite in the future. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.